What are some of the best road trip car games that you can play while on a road trip? We're going to talk about that in this video. Hey guys, my name is Lane Fornerat, aka Lane Vids, and this channel is all about building stronger family bonds with your kids through science, travel, art, and good old family fun. And we love to take road trips as a family, so we've discovered some of the best road trip games that you can play with your spouse, with your kids, with your friends, whoever, just to help pass the time. The first game we have is the simple punch bug game. Every time you see a VW Beetle on the highway, you just simply hit the roof of your car and say, punch bug, or you can punch the person next to you if you want to, just to make it a little bit more fun. The second road trip game that I have you is a simple word association game. So basically I say a word and then you guys have to say the next word that comes directly to your head. And then the next person says the word that comes directly to their head based off the word that they gave you. So you could say like, car. School bus, children, be, it, you just keep going round and around. It's really fun, it gets very interesting. The third road trip game that I have for you guys is Seven Degrees of Kevin Bacon. If you don't know what Seven Degrees of Kevin Bacon is, it's whenever you try and link one actor to Kevin Bacon by only using six connect or seven connections in between. You might want to be on a road trip with some movie buffs whenever you do this one. It's a good movie buff game. The fourth game I have for you is what my wife and I dubbed the iPod game. So we had an old school iPod that we would just plug into the car and we'd hit play shuffle. And we would have to guess the name of the song before the other person. If you did that, you got a point if you were right. And if you were able to name the artist and the album that the song was on, you get additional points for that. And then whenever uh, you want to stop the game, you just stop it, add up all the points, and see who won. Super fun game and uh, very challenging because you know you gotta try and beat the first person there. We had a really good time playing that game together. We played it with the old school iPods though that had the click wheel, so it was easier to find the skip button because once you guess the song, we like to go ahead and skip to the next one. Uh, maybe a little harder with the touch touch screen ones unless you have someone kind of moderating in the back or in the middle. Number five, an all time classic, simple I spy. I spy something red. A tomato, <laughs> you know, playing that guessing game. Kids love it. Our kids, we play it just driving around town, much less whenever we're on a road trip. And that's just a great way to pass the time and just kind of keep your kids focused on different things as you're driving. Keeps their mind wandering, which is good. Another game that we played is called the alphabet game. That's where you pick a category, say animals, and then you go down the alphabet naming an animal that starts with each letter and you take turns doing this. Now if you want to up the ante on it, if it's maybe you and your spouse or if you're with older people, not kids, or if your kids are a little older, uh, you can do it where you have to memorize every single one. So you say like A alligator, then the next person would say A alligator, B bear. Then the next person would say A alligator, B bear, C crocodile. And you'd have to go, keep going all the way through the alphabet. I used to play this with my friends whenever we were in high school and uh, we would go like double alphabet. We'd go through the alphabet once and then we'd have to go through it again. And it's just a super fun game. Now if you miss one, if you mess up somewhere, you're out of the game and play goes to the next person and you see who can last the longest. Next one that I have for you guys is the license plate game. My parents gave us bingo cards that had uh, state license plates on it and then it had like little doors that you slide for whenever you found that particular license plate, you just simply slide the door. But another thing you can do is just write down all 50 states, great for geography for your kids, and then as they see the license plates on the vehicles around you, simply cross them off. Or you can make your own bingo cards and try to play bingo that way or play blackout where you have to find them all on your bingo card. Number eight I have for you is the continue the story game. This is fun just to keep the kids and everybody's mind occupied because they're listening to what other people are saying. But it's where you start a story, say a couple sentences, and then the next person takes over the story, and then the next person takes over. And you just kind of keep developing this huge story around this initial thought. Always very fun to see where your kids take this particular game. 
I put two of them together for this one. It's tic-tac-toe and hangman. Simple paper games that you can play. If you have two kids, they can play that in the back if you want to give them something to do or if you want to play it as a family, you can do that as well by in the middle of the car. You can make, well, tic-tac-toe, I guess, is only two, but hangman, you know, you can show the board and then you can uh, guess letters and whatnot. So those are two just kind of simple classic ones that are good. The next one that I have for you is 20 questions. Basically, you think of something in your head and then the other people in the car can only ask yes Yes or no questions until they can figure out exactly what you're talking about. And you know, it's kind of like that game Guess Who? Do y'all remember that game? Where you have to ask yes and no questions and it had all the people lined up and then you flick them down based on the, the answers that you get. Same basic idea except you're playing it and you only have 20 questions that you can use. Uh, and then once you get to question 20, you either have to guess by knowing what it is or you lose. So those are the road trip games that I have for you. If you guys have any other games, let me know down in the comments below. I'm always looking for great games that we can play with our kids while we're on road trips to keep them occupied. And some of the best comments come from you guys down in the comments below. So please, if you guys have any other information that we could share as a community down there, let us know. Um, it's a great place for us to just find new things down in the comments below. If you guys want more videos from us, please click that subscribe button. More importantly, click that bell button. That way you get notified of all of our videos and you never miss a video again. Thank you guys for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. And thanks for being shiggity shank.